Hey y'all, it's Crystal Parks, aka Wow B, and I'm back for another story time. This story time is a little bit more edgy than the others. Um, this is about that one time at band camp when I took shrooms. psychedelic. Now, <laughs> this particular time when I took shrooms, I just had like a little bit left and um, I was traveling to see my boyfriend at the time. And like I said, I only had a little, little bit left and I woke up that morning and like, how am I going to make sure that this is enough for me to trip? So I googled um, that you can eat it with orange juice and orange juice will really kick it off and intensify it. So I woke up that morning, my boyfriend was cooking breakfast and I'm in the bathroom, I'm, I'm Googling all this stuff and I'm like, I'm doing shrooms today. Now, we had a whole day planned and I kind of was like, look at that. So I proceeded to take the shrooms, tastes like shit. I, like <sighs> shrooms taste like boo boo on boo boo. I don't know if that even describes it well enough. And it gets stuck in your teeth. I have to have gum or else like I gag. Pause. Anyway, um, I get some orange juice and I take the shrooms, and he has he knows nothing about it until I swallow. And he was like, what are you eating? I'm like, I decided to do shrooms today. Don't be mad. And he was mad, instantly mad. And I told him, listen, honey, you're not going to ruin my trip with your negativity. Allow me to have a good time. Allow me to explore and go on this journey and see where it takes me. Period. <laughs> so, um, I got sick. I probably, like, Threw up like 30 minutes later. I think it was the orange juice. It was a lot. Because I've never thrown up. I've never thrown up on shrooms before. So anyway, I start to feel it. Let me let me rewind a little bit. I had to go outside because the, the smells in, in the room, like him cooking and stuff, I couldn't handle the smell. So I needed fresh air. So I was outside, you know, and I could feel like it coming on. Like I started seeing the clouds moving a certain way. The 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 building looked like a Tetris building. Um Certain things started to stand out to me, and I I could feel, like I said, I could feel like I was nauseous. So I was, like, lingering over by the bushes. Like, I would walk inside the bushes, and then I'd walk back out, and I was just kind of, like, swaying a little bit. And it got to a point where I was like, okay, I know I need to throw up. So I go inside the bushes. Like, I literally walk in the bushes. And by that time, like, I was looking at the bushes, and they were so beautiful. So I was like, damn it, I don't want to throw up on the bushes. You know, so I was like, okay, I'm going to go inside. I'm going to go throw up inside. So I'm trying to rush to get inside. And then the cleaning ladies are in there. I'm like, oh, crap. So I run back outside and I'm like, okay, I got to do it here. And the bushes were so pretty. <laughs> the bushes were so pretty to me at that point. And I, I just started. <sighs> and the funny thing about it is I was apologizing to the bushes because <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was so funny. So anyway, um, I finish up. I feel a lot better. Still tripping. Um, we go to look at apartments. So we're getting apartment tours, and I am tripping balls. Okay, I am looking out the balcony. Like everything looks so cool. Like. Thank God, like, they didn't actually, like, give us a walk-around tour. They were like, okay, go up to this level and, and check out this unit. So, good thing we, like, we weren't super supervised. <laughs> super supervised. But, like, my boyfriend was annoyed. You hear me? So, we look at a few apartments, and I'm just, like, laying on counters and doing cartwheels or looking at walls, staring at walls. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what was going on. 
And we came back downstairs, and oh my gosh, I don't think, so there's this Frenchie when we got off the right elevator, and like the Frenchie walks up to my to my boyfriend, he pets it, and I'm like, ah, oh! and, the, and the Frenchie gets pissed at me, and like growls, I'm like, oh my god, the dog hates me, and then my boyfriend was like, the dog can tell that you want some shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, he sees me for the animal that I am. <laughs> so the Frenchie fucking hated me. Okay, and um, so the first time I ever did shrooms, um, people, people have this thing where they say don't look in the mirror. I looked in the mirror the first time I did shrooms, and I had a blast. Okay, I looked cartoonish almost. Like, you know how, like, those new cartoons, it's like they look real, but they, you can tell, like, they have, like, a cartoonish, I don't know. I'm going to try and find a picture of, like, what I felt like I looked like. But I had so much fun in the mirror. I was doing all kinds of things with my face, and, like, it was, it was fun. This time, I saw something a little bit different. And, um... Let me rewind a little bit. So for the past, or for the two days before that, I had really started getting into my root chakra and um, confronting fear. And um, what I had noticed is that majority of my fear came from myself, like failure, um, coming to terms with who I am, the good, bad, and, and ugly. So wh whatever mental state you're in, shrooms is going to just like magnify and really narrow in on your state of mind. So in the mirror this time, I, it wasn't, I saw more of a dark side of myself and I feel like this that trip for me was um, identifying and recognizing that there is a bad side of me too you know you know you have the good bad and I could see almost like a rebellious almost like a um, I don't want to say sinister but just a little girl there you know and I had to face it and I had to, um, pretty much what I got from it was like, okay, it ain't all peaches and cream. Yo shit stinks, but my shit don't because I don't shit or fart. But you get what I'm saying? Yo shit stinks. But it all works together. Uh, it's a piece of me that I need for it to like come around for full circle and work for me, for the person that I am. Um, so... You know, I think shrooms was really cool. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I think um, that trip was really cool for me. It, it made me learn a lot about myself and really made me confront like, myself, like I said. And it was really fun to do something random and piss my boyfriend off at the time. So, hmm. well, that's my story time. Um, comment below and let me know what other story times you'd like me to share with you. Um, I'm not really savvy on this whole YouTube game and like what y'all would like to hear. Um, like I said, I just wanted to do story times as buffers or not even just story times, like story times, vlogs, um, Q and A's, maybe some challenges. I'm not sure. Just to buffer in between these videos so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. So if you guys have any requests, comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see. Um, you can find me. If you, if you want to follow me on socials, you can find me at It's Wild B. Or you can find me on my website at itswildb.com. And that will take you to my um, socials. That will take you to merch. Um, if you want to join my fan club or my VIP, it will also direct you right there. It's like a one-stop shop for me. So, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified next time I drop a video. Over and out.